So let's continue with the last part of our introduction to the Urban Entrepreneurship Practicum course. This is the last section. It's uh, about just information about the course. Okay. So let's uh, first go over what we're going to do in this course, what you're going to do. Uh, first of all, we have some background work to do in order to uh, have you develop some skills around uh, business models, urban business models, uh, and uh, urban community engagement. So we have some skill building to do in the first part of the course. Uh, and then, uh, very early on, you're going to select uh, an urban-focused business as your urban entrepreneurship partner, uh, and we're going to form teams. And uh, so after we uh, form these teams, you're going to work with this particular business and your contact person at this business for the remainder of the semester. Uh, working with your team, you're going to analyze and document your urban entrepreneur partner's business and the business model. So first is to understand how the business works. Uh, and then you're going to engage with your urban entrepreneur partner, uh, their customers, other marketplace shareholders, community members, uh, so you can better, again, even better understand the business and validate the business model and uh, come up with uh, uh, ways that the business might be made better, more effective. Uh, and based on that information you're going to design uh, and validate an improved business model and then at the end of the course you're going to uh, document and present your improved uh, business model design so that's uh, overall uh, what uh, we're going to do in this course so who should take the course um, i think this course could benefit pretty much anybody who's interested in uh, entrepreneurship or in playing an entrepreneurial role even in a larger company. Uh, but basically you should take the course if you want to know and practice the processes and methods and strategies required to create a sustainable for-profit business that it addresses an important urban community need. That's the focus of the course. As I say, it's not limited to that. And uh, like they say in New York, you know, if, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. If you can design an effective urban focused business, you can design pretty much any business. Uh, and so we want you to be able to, uh, you should take this course if you want to be able to analyze, assess, or appreciate an urban focused business uh, for investment or other purposes. So again, it's not just about starting a business you may be just interested in supporting a business or investing in an urban focused business um, and also you might want to take this course if you're interested in serving as a leader or a team member in uh, any entrepreneurial business setting so uh, those are uh, the reasons that uh, you might want to take this course so i would ask you to just look at yourself and think about What's your motivation for taking the course? It, that will help you. If you understand that motivation, it'll help you get the most out of the course. Um, so as I said before, this course will prepare you to function as a leader or a team member in an entrepreneurial business or to understand and appreciate entrepreneurial processes and mindset in whatever field you choose to pursue. And typically in this course, we have students from a wide variety of field in, fields, engineering, business, nursing, architecture, uh, all kinds of fields. And, uh, but entrepreneurship is uh, uh, something that transcends all of those areas and, and can really uh, uh, serve uh, any of those uh, fields. So let's look at uh, Who's your teaching team this semester? First of all, I'll introduce myself. As I indicated before, uh, I am from Flint, Michigan. 
Uh, I have bachelor's and master's degrees in uh, electrical engineering from uh, here at the University of Michigan. Um, my first professional job was as a member of technical staff and then as a group supervisor at AT&T Bell Laboratories in New Jersey. At the time, AT&T Bell Laboratories was the preeminent place uh, for an electrical engineer or a computer science person to work. Uh, it's where the transistor was invented. It's where the Unix operating system came out of that. The communication satellite, the data modem, all these things were invented at Bell Labs. Uh, and it was a very, it was an outstanding place to work. Just lots and lots of really talented people. I learned a lot uh, working there. But uh, after working there for seven years, I left and I started my own company. I started a company in my basement called Telecom Analysis Systems. We manufactured um, very uh, well. We we manufactured uh, test and instrumentation devices for communications professionals. We designed, manufactured, marketed, and sold those products in about 25 countries around the world and I sold that business to a company that is now called Spirant PLC today. They're a, a British company, UK company. Uh, we sold the company uh, to Spirant. Um, and then I did some community service work. I started an organization called the Red Bank Education and Development Initiative out in New Jersey. Uh, I wrote a book that was published in 2012 uh, called uh, Proving Ground, a memoir, which was uh, uh, detailed my uh, uh, entrepreneurship journey. Um, this book was published in 2012 after I had moved back to Michigan. I came back to Michigan from New Jersey in 2007. I started lecturing in the Center for Entrepreneurship here in 2012. Uh, in 2014, I founded an organization called the Urban Entrepreneurship Initiative, which is kind of aimed at the same thing this course is aimed at, facilitating uh, more entrepreneurship that benefits urban communities. Uh, and uh, uh, I created this uh, Urban Entrepreneurship Practicum course uh, in 2015. Uh, so I'm happy to be teaching urban entrepreneurship here again uh, this winter and uh, we're uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to exploring uh, as I said earlier this subjects uh, with you uh, fun fact uh, I'm a ham <laughs> uh, singer and uh, um, I uh, once performed, I, I always wanted to be in this play called, this musical called The Wiz, came out in the 70s, but finally in 2005, uh, I uh, uh, played the role of The Wiz in the musical The Wiz in Red Bank, New Jersey. Uh, had a lot of fun doing that. Um, our IA is uh, very talented, Emma Farisi. Uh, she was my IA uh, in the fall semester, and she come back for more uh, punishment and abuse. <laughs> but uh, Emma is from Albuquerque, New Mexico. She uh, is in the in IOE, Industrial and Operations Engineering uh, program, and she is an entrepreneurship minor. Uh, she's focused on data science and sustainable machine learning applications, and uh, uh, she's the head of uh, diversity and risk management for uh, the Theta Tau Professional Engineering Fraternity. So very talented, happy to have her back uh, this winter semester. Uh, fun fact about Emma, she was a nationally ranked uh, Olympic karate athlete, uh, and she loves MMA and uh, uh, UFC. So, bottom line is, don't mess with Emma. <laughs> She'll hurt you. Uh, and uh, uh, another uh, important person in the course, a member of the teaching team, uh, is my volunteer course advisor, Mr. Reggie Barnett. Reggie, like me, is from Flint, Michigan. We've known each other since grade school. 
uh, he helps me with this course. Uh, I guess the analogy would be if this was, uh, if we were a football team, if I was a football coach and you guys were the team, Reggie would be up in the press box. He doesn't uh, interact a lot uh, during the class session. Sometimes he does. But uh, he's kind of like my coach, and he looks at what's going on uh, in the classroom. And, and uh, we get together uh, after class and during the week and just look at how we can do things better, how we can optimize the design of the course. And he's been working with me on this uh, probably since 2014. Uh, as I said, Reggie's from Flint. He's got a bachelor's uh, degree uh, in economics from Notre Dame, MBA from Duke. He worked as a senior manager at IBM for a number of years, and then he had his own company called uh, Wireless, Re Wireless Resources, a wireless infrastructure company in Detroit. Uh, and he uh, serves on the board of directors at the Urban Entrepreneurship Initiative. Uh, fun fact about Reggie, he was the starting defensive back on Notre Dame's uh, national championship football team in 1973. Uh, and uh, he was also the Genesee County Horseshoe Pitching Champion uh, is back in the 1960s when we were young kids. Uh, so uh, that's uh, fun facts about Reggie. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the syllabus. First of all, I would highly recommend that you take the time now to open up the syllabus and go through it because it has a lot of the important information about the course more than we can delve into uh, in just a few minutes here uh, and uh, so again I highly I, uh, I strongly recommend that you uh, take the time to go through the syllabus but I want to highlight some of the key things in the syllabus particularly some key policies uh, one of them is the absence policy uh, everyone is uh, is uh, granted one excused absence in this course. We're only going to meet in person uh, 12 times before the final presentation. And so and this is a this is a group work course, a teamwork course. And things fall apart if people are not in the class because every week we're doing something uh, relating to moving forward toward uh, our goals in the class and a lot of that work is teamwork so uh, uh, it, it's not uh, a good thing uh, to be uh, absent it, it, it uh, kind of um, uh, goes against what we're trying to do in the course so bottom line everybody gets one absence you don't have to tell me why you're absent uh, and it's fine uh, I, I don't think it's a good thing to be absent if you can make every course every session I think that would that would be the best thing for you and for your team but if you have to be absent for some reason you don't have to uh, give me an excuse beyond uh, the one absence every absence counts against your participation score there's a total of 120 points uh, participation score so you get 10 points off for each absence. Doesn't mean you can't be absent, uh, it's just 10 points. And uh, for any reason, if you're absent for any reason beyond that first uh, excused absence, it's uh, 10 points. Now there's a total of 560 points in the course. Uh, so uh, 10 points isn't gonna kill anybody, uh, but uh, uh, it's important to have that uh, mechanism for accountability again in a in a teamwork uh, uh, course like this. Um, second thing, the Urban Experience Tour is on February 4th. It's a Saturday. We always do this tour on a Saturday because it takes all day and it takes quite a bit to organize this course and to coordinate with the uh, different uh, businesses and community uh, organizations that you're going to see so uh, this is something that's an integral part of the course I can't stress en enough how important this tour is uh, so you should not miss it and my recommendation to people is always if you don't think you can uh, attend this uh, this uh, uh, tour you should strongly consider 
not taking the course. That's how central this urban experience tour is to the course because we're talking about designing a business or improving a business that serves an urban community. So it's it's crucial that you understand firsthand what an urban community is about and what some of these businesses are about. And again, it, on a positive side, it's something that students almost always cite as one of the most valuable things that they got out of the course. So please, please, please don't miss the uh, Urban Experience Tour of Detroit. If you think you have to miss it, then again, strongly consider not taking the course or taking it uh, in another uh, different semester. Um, sometimes uh, other professors schedule exams during our class time. We didn't have any of this this past fall, but exams and other classes are not a valid reason to miss this class. So uh, you need to make arrangements with uh, your professor if you have an exam scheduled during our class time and just let them know, uh, you have to take that exam uh, or be given an accommodation to take that exam uh, at another time if it conflicts with the course. Uh, and if you have that situation happen, uh, look at your schedule and, and uh, as early as possible because uh, I can help or CFE can help if you need help with your department um, getting an accommodation. Uh, finally, no technology use uh, in the course except in conjunction with class activities. So we're a screens down, uh, phones down kind of uh, class. Uh, we want everybody to be focused on uh, the class activities. Uh, so those are just a highlight of the policies. In terms of uh, the keys to success in the course, again I've been teaching this course since 2015 and the patterns are very clear. Uh, people who do well in this course show up. Uh, they attend class and uh, I don't I can't think of anybody who's attended every class session or maybe missed one class session who hasn't done well in the class there's a high correlation between showing up uh, and uh, and doing well in the course kind of related to that doing the homework and the assigned readings uh, again that's just keeping up uh, the the concepts in the course are not uh, particularly difficult um, but they do require some thought they do require understanding uh, the principles that are involved and that that takes some work and takes some time um, another area that uh, uh, is a perennial issue um, is holding yourself and team members accountable for the work of your team. There's almost always some uh, different, difference in the level of uh, work that team members are putting in. Uh, sometimes uh, you even have a situation where a team member just doesn't show up and it's important to address those kinds of things early. Uh, teamwork is an important part of this course and getting experience with that kind of teamwork is an important part of what the course is about. So uh, hold yourself accountable, hold your teammates accountable uh, for the teamwork. Half of your grade is uh, the work that you and your team do. The other half is your individual assignments. Uh, be an active participant in the class sessions and in your own team meetings. Um, engage with your urban entrepreneur partner and their customers and with the community that uh, helps you to understand uh, the business and to give them useful information about the business. Um, back up anything that you propose about their business with evidence that you have gained. In other words, validate the things that you uh, come up with. Uh, bring a mindset of exploration and fun uh, to the course. Uh, uh, don't start uh, by thinking, you know, without evidence that you have the answer. Engage with people, engage with your entrepreneur, engage with the customers, engage with the marketplace uh, to find the answer along with your teammates.
a lot of this will make more sense as we get into the coming weeks. Uh, our first homework assignments um, are to complete what we call the business model you profile. It's looking at yourself as a value creating entity. Uh, and it's kind of a fun way for uh, me to uh, learn more information about you and for your teammates to uh, learn more information about you, your fellow students. So this is a uh, business model you profile assignment. Uh, and uh, there is a uh, 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 document called the business model generation preview that talks about uh, what a business model is and, and uh, defines this thing called a business model canvas uh, that uh, we use as a shorthand documentation of a business model. Uh, so I want you to read that uh, business model generation preview. It's a PDF. Uh, and uh, also watch uh, the video by a fellow by the name of Alex Osterwalder who uh, wrote the business model generation preview or the book Business Model Generation. Uh, there's a nice video that he's done on the Business Model Canvas and that will help you understand uh, the business model and the design of a business model canvas. That's the homework for this week and uh, as always uh, you should see the Canvas site for specifics on the homework assignment. Uh, that's where all the details are. So uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, in person uh, soon and uh, let's enjoy this course together. Let's have a good time. I look forward to, uh, to seeing you next week. Take care.